Well, most of the, the, the three primary sources would be letters that they had access to, uh, other newspapers, they cut and paste a lot from other newspapers, and uh, essays that were submitted and they would decide whether to print them or not. Uh, again, as we get closer to the revolution, the printer makes more and more choices. Uh, you, early on, they were trying to print as much as they could, and uh, sometimes they'd get behind but doing that. But uh, I think as the business develops in the years leading up to and in the revolution, the printer becomes more of a person choosing what to include, depending on which side he's on or what he thinks is right and what he thinks is wrong. And so uh, letters become uh, particularly about battles. That's a big source of information about the battles is letters from people in the community who are serving in the army who can write back and say, this is what's happening, this is what's going on. Uh, those become very important and you see a lot of those being published. Uh, particularly for information from Europe, a lot of their sources had been either newspapers they got from Europe or they'd go down to the port and talk to the ship captains, okay, what's happening back in London or whatever. And as the war heats up, those sources get cut off and they can't have access to those anymore.